The Rorschach test is a psychological test in which the subject's interpretation of ambiguous shapes are used to assess their personality traits and emotional functioning. The Rorschach test was devised by Hermann Rorschach, a Swiss psychiatrist and psychoanalyst. Rorschach never intended the inkblots to be used as a general personality test, but developed them instead as a tool for the diagnosis of schizophrenia. In 1921, after studying 300 mental patients and 100 control subjects, Rorschach wrote his book Psychodiagnostic, which was to form the basis of the inkblot test. The book didn't garner much attention, and the following year, at age 37, Rorschach died from peritonitis, likely caused by a ruptured appendix. It was not until 1939 that the test was used as a projective test of personality, a use of which Rorschach had always been skeptical. The Rorschach test is appropriate for subjects from the age of 5 to adulthood. The administrator and the subject sit next to each other at a table, with the administrator slightly behind the subject. Side-by-side -side seating minimizes any possibility that the examiner will accidentally influence the subject's responses. There are 10 official ink blots. Each of the blots has near-perfect bilateral symmetry. Five of the ink blots are black, two are black and red, and three are multicolored, all on a white background. The ink blots are not random or chance designs. Each of the blots selected by Rorschach for his test had been meticulously designed to be as ambiguous and conflicting as possible. The test subject tells the administrator what they see in each inkblot. This is known as the free association phase. The administrator then presents the inkblots again, one at a time, this time having the subject note what they saw during the first phase and having them point out what makes it look this way. This is known as the inquiry phase. The subject is then asked to hold the cards. As the subject is examining the ink blots, the administrator writes down everything the subject says or does, no matter how trivial. For example, whether or not the cards are rotated and whether the subject asks permission to rotate them may expose personality traits and normally contributes to the assessment. In either scenario, the subject is allowed to rotate the cards. The administrator then analyzes the responses, however methods of interpretation do differ. There are several variables that are used to interpret the Rorschach data. The subject's response to what they see on the inkblot, though taken into account, is not the primary focus of the analysis. For example, the amount of time it takes the subject to respond to a card can in itself be significant. A striking characteristic of the Rorschach inkblots is their symmetry. Rorschach experimented with both asymmetric and symmetric images before finally opting for the latter. He gives this explanation for the decision. Asymmetric figures are rejected by many subjects. It has a disadvantage in that it tends to make answers somewhat stereotyped. On the other hand, symmetry makes conditions the same for right and left-handed subjects. Finally, symmetry makes possible the interpretation of whole scenes. The Exner scoring system was the standard method for interpreting the Rorschach data. It was developed in the 1960s by Dr. John E. Exner, after he realized that at least five related, but ultimately different, methods of analysis were in common use at the time. The Rorschach Performance Assessment System is a scoring method created by several members of the Rorschach Research Council and published in 2011. It was believed that, after years of collecting data, the Exner scoring system was in need of an update. It is an attempt at creating a current, empirically based and internationally focused scoring system that is easier to use than Exner's comprehensive system. Many psychologists do not believe much in the validity or effectiveness of the Rorschach test, nor do they believe that it has an objective scoring system. These skeptics consider it to be a pseudoscience, as several studies suggested that conclusions reached by test administrators since the 1950s were akin to cold reading. In the UK, while some psychologists remain skeptical about its scientific validity, they still use it in therapy and coaching as a way of encouraging self-reflection and starting a conversation about the person's internal world. Proponents of the test say that its value as a measure of thought disorder in schizophrenia research is well accepted, and that substantial evidence justifies the use of the Rorschach test as a clinical measure of intelligence and thought disorder. 
The following are the 10 Rorschach inkblots, along with their most common responses. Feel free to pause the video while you think of your answer, and the video will end after this, so skip ahead if you don't want to know what you see in the blots. 